first, uh, just your reaction to the game. I mean, uh, really a, a classic out there. Uh, went back and forth, momentum changes over time. Uh, how does it feel? I'm stoked. <laughs> I can't even put it into words. Like, you know, at the beginning, it looked like we were kind of get that early lead and just kind of plow right through. And then Grafton came back and gave us a game. And, you know, there were some times where it just felt like, you know, we might lose it, but, you know, luckily our team kept it together. And I just, I, I can't yeah. talk right I mean, now. it was close all the way through. It was kind of, it was nerve wracking, but it was a lot of fun to play in, you know, being yeah. at the bottom of that pile at the end. Yeah, talk about, uh, well, talk about what you saw on that shot, you know, and, and what did it, what did it feel like when you saw it go in and knew that you, you just sank the winner there? Uh, well, you know, uh, Smiley dodged from behind. Uh, my guy slid. Coach always says, follow the guy that uh, slides. And so I followed him in. Smiley gave me the pass, shot it, went in. Uh, AJ, uh, talk about uh, obviously Grafton has, you know, rotatory Riley, but uh, some other kids too. Uh, was that, where does that rank among the, uh, the teams you've, you've seen this year and especially how determined they were? Um, Definitely, definitely very, very good shooters. You know, they know where to put the ball. They gave me a run for my money for a little while. Uh, you know, I was lucky enough to make a few saves when I needed to. And, uh, you know, luckily our defense was, you know, played the way they did. You know, shut out their key guys. You know, I know that, uh, I think Riley got a few. I can't even remember at this point. But, you know, I'm just happy, happy with the saves I did. You know? And what's that like uh, on your end, you know, uh, going in, I think it was 9-9 going into the fourth quarter and uh, how, how close it was for, for such a long time there and I imagine, you know, you know how, how important each, each goal is at, yeah. at that point. It's just it's so suspenseful, you know, it's just like when is the ball going to come back down here? Are we going to score? You know, are they going to about to score? You know, I guess my only mindset was, you know, see the ball, save the ball and you can't really go outside of that at, at that point. Yeah, but, you know. Uh, I know it's been a long road back to the... Uh, CMAS uh, championship, but uh, just just your thoughts. Uh, what a great game, and, and you guys took it in overtime. Can't do can't do much better than that in the final. Yeah, I mean, we started off pretty hot. I think we got a five-one, and then they made a push there in the second. And we could have lost right there, but we kept our composure, turned it on in the third, and then our D kind of shut them out there in the fourth, and then Kevin Butler and Drew came up big there in overtime. Yeah, and like like he said, like Coach was saying after we were down. We're up 5-1, and then they started to come back. Honestly, just no one ever turned to each other, and started yelling. It was just we're a family, and we had to stay together and pull together, and came out on top. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about this uh, attack group. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of the time it seems it was you guys connecting with each other. Um, I know, you know, especially the first three goals when you guys jumped ahead there, all, all assisted on for each other. And, and uh, how how close is this group? Yeah. Really close. We've been playing together for well, me and Drew were on JV first. He was on varsity, but as soon as we came up, we've all been. We know where each other are on the field. We hang out off the field. It's for real brothers, and actually, that shows on the field. You know, all our, our games kind of like complement each other. You know, Drew's a big, powerful dodger. Yeah, Josh and I absolutely. Kind of sneak around and with the feet. Josh's a big shooter that Drew and I can find him. So they all complement each other really well on the field. Yeah. Um, how did you guys? Uh, how did you guys stop all that momentum Grafton gathered, you know, going into halftime, it seems? Uh, you guys took the, the early lead, but, you know, they, they really came together pretty strong there. And, and what did you guys do to sort of stem that? I mean, we got lucky because it was halftime, and that was a big reason why they stopped. But we just kind of calmed down during halftime and talked ourselves into it and got back into the game and knew that, you know, we could turn it on again like we did in the first. So, you know, we just stayed together. No one got on each other and yelled at each other or anything like that. Yeah, Grafton's, they're a great group of athletes, great bunch of players, and we knew they were going to have their runs. We were going to have ours. It was the depth and the lasting of us to kind of persevere. And Maloney came down, pushed one. I got in, stuck in. That kind of slowed it down after that. Yeah. And uh, lastly, just what is it? What does it mean to you guys to, uh, you know, senior year to get this this title as, as the uh, sort of the cherry on top for your, your high school lacrosse career? It's awesome. I 
I was lucky enough to get caught up freshman year and got to watch them win it up from the sidelines. But to lose sophomore year, like we did in overtime against Algonquin, and then to get knocked out in the semis last year, you know, it was worth the wait. And now we got our sights set on state. So yeah. it's been a long time coming. Like you said, we were all on the bench that year, watching all those kids, watching them leave with the regrets. And that's what we talked about before the game: is if you're leaving with tears, you're leaving with regrets. And we don't want to be those guys.